All right. Hello and welcome everyone to another session of Fit Essentials Basics class today. My name is Shauna. We'll go ahead and come on up to our feet to get started. And I already told the people here live, if you have a broomstick, PVC, or one of the long therabands, we are going to be utilizing that for part of our warm up today. Here we go. All right. Those that have been with us for a while, you know our cue to start our spinal cord breathing, feet underneath the hips, toes straight ahead. Pull yourself nice and tall, standing tall up out of the hips. From here, grip the toes down into your shoes or into the floor. Have just a little bend in those knees, midline nice and strong. And now we're gonna circle our arms around, bring those forearms and palms together in front of the body. Tuck your arms down to your chest, turn your hips under and round your head and neck down as well. And now on the inhale, we're gonna lift and open. So breathe in, lift the chest, here up towards the ceiling or sky, hold strong in your belly as you divide the arms, bring the shoulder blades back and down. And now on the exhale, tuck back under like a ball, nice and smooth, blow the air out of the lungs, curl under, curl in, holding strong. And that's your rhythm here. Move smooth, breathe and lift. Try to oxygenate the body and then exhale. Send the air out of the lungs as much as you can without feeling dizzy or lightheaded. Lift and breathe, open. Lift the head to the ceiling or sky. And exhale, bring it back down. Let's go one more cycle after this. Good. Breathe, lift, continue to stand tall up out of the hips. Fire the glutes as you open. And then final exhale, tuck it all down. Once you finish, go ahead and relax the arms down, come on up to standing. All right, from here, we're gonna go into some shoulder rolls. Continue to have a little play in those legs, gripping the toes down, and we're gonna roll the shoulders up and back. How to add the elbows into it as well. I alternate which arm comes on top. Very good. Up and back, try to feel the shoulders come up and down. I know I have a little bit of Talking and moving through there. And then now we're gonna reverse directions. We're gonna bring the arms forward and up and forward. Very good. Fantastic. All right, from there, we're gonna go into a little side step and arm swing, step in side to side, open through the chest and shoulders. Very good. All right, so our first series serves as a bit of a warm up here for us today. So we're not going to do a whole lot before we move into it. But I do want to kind of wake up the ankles just a little bit more. So we're going to kind of roll those ankles around. You could take a seat for this part, or if you want to practice your balance, you either balance next to a chair or next to a wall. Lift everything up if you are standing, arms at the side, or steady yourself. And you're going to pick one foot up off the ground. And now we're rolling that ankle around. Focus on shoulders down out of the ears and lifting up, not letting those hips drop in. Good, switch directions on that ankle if you have it. And switch sides, very good. Place that foot down, really exaggerate, pull up and forward. Imagine yourself like those marionette puppets. I always think of the sound of music when the kids had those puppets and they did that little show for their guests. One of my favorite movies. Very good. About five rotations one way and then about five the other. Very nice. All righty, set that down. From here, let's grab a little bit of drink of water. Make sure you're well hydrated. You are gonna wanna have those broomsticks around. And we're also gonna be doing some hip extension work with the leg. So I'm gonna be supporting my upper body on this box. If you want to be near like a chair or a tabletop. All right. Once you get that drink, we're going to start here in about 10 seconds. Our first exercise is called the sway. So you're going to place your feet just underneath the hips. You're going to bring your arms out to the side, shoulders down out of the ears. And when you're ready, pulling up, we're going to shift our weight sway to one side. If you're comfortable to lift that opposite leg off the ground, do so. Otherwise, try to point the toes and just shift your weight onto that leg that you're shifting over to. So either one leg balance 
or both feet down and just shift the weight. We're working for about 45 seconds here. We're almost to 30 already. And then we'll be transitioning movements. Very nice. Continue to keep those shoulders down out of the ears. We tend to start to shrug up. So continue to keep them down. Maybe one more time each side, lifting up. Kind of pausing as you come over. And two, one, and release. Good job. Shake those arms out. We're going to go our cross crawl variation next. I'll be giving you three advancements as we go through. For the first one, straight arms, straight legs. When you're ready, nice and smooth, you're going to bring your arm to the opposite leg. Again, if you don't feel good to go onto one leg support, you can just bring the hand to the opposite side. So either pick it up and touch or keep it down and touch. This one also can be done while seated. Elbow to the opposite thigh or hand to the opposite thigh when you're seated. Very good. This one is for our body as much as it is for our brain, reaching across the body. Very nice. Just like children crawl, kind of warm up their brain as they're young, we use these cross crawl exercises to keep our brain firing well as we age. Do one more each side and two, one, and rest. All right, so this is where we're gonna use that elevated surface or you can just stand tall and extend the legs straight back. Otherwise, I'm gonna place the hands down, pull my belly in, walk the feet back. Starting on your left leg, you'll pull your knee towards the same side elbow, and then you're gonna extend the leg straight back. Squeeze the glute, really watch not to allow your back to arch. So think belly button pulled in as you move. Yeah, we're gonna go knee in and gently extend. Toe points down towards the floor. And that focus is on the bum, your glute muscle there. As you extend, you're trying to wake it up, squeeze it. 30 seconds done, about 15 more to go. Make sure the leg that's supporting your weight, you lift up out of that hip. You don't want to just drop into it. Do one more here, pulling it up and in and setting it back and down. Good job. Walk both feet in. Go ahead and come up to standing. And just shake it out for a second. Rocking the hip side to side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Alrighty, I'm gonna come across and demo on the opposite side of the floor. Go ahead and get back into the position and we're gonna do the same thing on the right. So both hands underneath the shoulders, walk the feet back, just depending upon your height. And two, one, here we go. Right leg this time towards the right side elbow and extend from there. Good, gently lift it up and in and gently extend back. So this ends up being a little bit of an upper body exercise as well. Those of you that are in that bent over position and you're holding strong through the arms and shoulders. Good, slide in and extend back. Fantastic. And if we wanna think about the breathing too, we're gonna to breathe in as we draw that leg up and in and exhale on the extension. Breathe in, guide it in, and extend. Very nice, couple more, up and in, and back. Last one, in and back. Fantastic, walk it up and in, and let's find that broomstick. Broomstick, long band, whatever you have available. Set those feet about hip width apart, slight bend those knees, and we're gonna open the shoulders, bringing this up to overhead. Really key here, not to arch back. So ribs down, open, and bringing it forward. So we'll go up and down a few times, bringing it back, good, and down. This time, once you have it up to overhead, have a little bend in those knees, and now rotate your torso. Looking over one shoulder, strong, and then up, and look over the other side. Fantastic, once more each way. And back. And rest, very good. Go ahead and set that broomstick down. Just one more exercise. A Little bit of heart rate and blood flow with our march and punch. Arms out to the side and three, two, one, here we go, punching across the body, lifting the knee, lifting the foot, trying to keep those hands right about shoulder height. 
and coordinate your exhale as you punch. So breathe out. Good. Hips as level as you can. Good, about 10 more seconds. Keep those eyes up, keep your chest nice and tall. And two, one, and rest. All right, let's get a little drink and then we're gonna go back to that sway. Welcome, Luann, great to see you. Or at least your name until you get that camera on. All right, everybody, round two, we're going back to our sway. And arms out to the side, chest nice and tall. Two, one, and begin. Shift the weight, lifting up, and take it to the other side. She's not hiding from us. She uh, doesn't have a camera that works on her computer right now, so. <laughs> Nice and smooth, looking to hold for two, three, maybe as many as five seconds on that single leg support. Here we're practicing shifting our weight from side to side, allowing our body to learn to adapt the weight on that side of the body. Good, that's 30 seconds. We're gonna go about another 15. Now watch those arms, which you tend to start to shrug up, oops, keep them down. So I think pulling those shoulder blades back and down on the body. And two, one, and shake those arms out. Very good, back to our cross crawl. Remember the first round? That's that basic one. Please feel free to stick with it. If you want more of a challenge, we're gonna go elbow to the opposite knee. Three, two, one, begin. So either straight arm, straight leg, like that first round, or this is that more challenging version. Holding really level through those hips. So I'm pulling up each time. Seeing those puppet strings pull me up towards the ceiling. Yep. And that's whether the legs are bent or the legs are straight. Fantastic. Good, I breathe in as I open my body. I exhale as I come into that closed position. That's 30 seconds. Feel free to rest if you want a little extra break. Otherwise, 10 more seconds. Very good. And two, one, and rest. Great work, making our way to the hip extension from that elevated position. This similar, similar concept to like a bird dog down on the floor, a single leg extension. So place those hands down, walk those feet out, make sure the hips and midline are nice and level, starting on your left. Two, one, here we go. Pull the knee up and in. It's totally okay if you don't get that knee all the way to the elbow, just pull it towards your chest. And then as you extend, no arching. Extend, fire the glute, fire that bum. Sometimes if you pause there in that extended position, it allows you to kind of fire a little bit better, to squeeze. Good, slide it in, glide, and extend. Fantastic. And this leg that's supporting you, remember we don't wanna drop into that hip, so we're giving some awareness to that side of the body, lifting up the whole time, and rest. Very good, in between sides, let's stand up and circle those hips once. Hands on the hips, circle them around. A Couple times around one way, and then a couple times around the other. Very good, smile. I love that bright pink shirt today. All right, fantastic. Opposite side, we're going to the right leg this time. Place the hands down or standing tall. And three, two, one, here we go. Pushing strong through the arms, gliding that knee up, and then smooth to extend. Watching the position of the foot, toe point straight down, straight towards you. There's a tendency to rotate that hip away and the, hip, and the toe turns out. So keep the hips square, lifting up out of that support hip and up out of those shoulders as you move. Good, there's 30 seconds. Anytime you need a little bit more break, you can always come out of this position. We're doing a little bit longer intervals today with those 45 seconds. 
And maybe one more here, two, one, and rest. Fantastic. Back to the broomstick. All right, so this time when you grab your steak, you're gonna take it up and depending upon your mobility in your shoulders, if you're able to bring it down behind the head, that is preferred, but only if you can keep your chin in and neck nice and long. Feel free to stay standing. So what we're doing is pushing it up and bringing it down. If it doesn't feel good to go behind the head, then simply bring it down in front of the face and lifting up from there. You see where you are with your shoulders and head position. And we wanna avoid this posture. So chin in, lengthen, Couple more here, up and down. And especially those of you, when you're standing, think ribs down as you press. So sometimes it's easy to sway back and to arch the back. And two, one, last one, and then bring it down in front. Very good, march and punch. Water break after this, shoulders back and down, bringing those hands up by the elbows and shoulders. And two, one, Begin. So you're punching across the body, trying to lift up, coordinate the opposite leg at the same time. Good. Blow the air out as you punch. Exhale. There you go. Good. You'll breathe in as you bring the arm back and then breathe out as you punch. Beautiful. Good coordination. That's it. And then see if as you punch your arm, it's I notice myself when I see the videos, I tend to punch down. See if you can keep those hands up. So kind of punching right about the level of your shoulder. There you go, good. Maybe one more each side. And rest, fantastic. All right, water break. Whew. Wonderful job. One more time through everybody. We're going to go back to that sway. Go join us when you're ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Lift up. Smile. Be grateful. Be thankful for what your body can do. Sometimes we spend so much of our time feeling like we're not doing enough, trying to do more criticizing ourselves or beating up our body that it's not doing what we want. But if you can just find that little bit of gratitude for what it can do. You wanna be grateful while you still can because how often does something tragic happen and then you look back and you're like, man, or maybe not even tragic, just life happens, right? And then you look back. We're almost there, everybody. I've been yapping the whole time. Shift it from side to side, lift it all up, shoulders back and down. And three, two, one, and release. Very good. Final cross crawl. So either the first two versions, or if you're with the progressions, we're going behind us. And when you're ready. So either here in front, okay? Straight arms or bent arms, or that extra challenge, reaching behind. A little bit more challenge of that stability, right? So make sure you're really gripping the foot down and whether you're on the floor or in your shoes, nice and smooth. Very good. Over halfway. There you go. About 10 more seconds left. One side of the body, down and up. Other side of the body, fantastic. And three, two, one and release. All right, final set of the elevated knee to elbow. Left leg first, place the hand down, walk the feet back. Two, one, here we go. Holding strong for those shoulders. Glide it in, glide it back. Lifting up out of the hip, pull it in and back. Good. Breathe in. Exhale as you extend. Remember to pay attention to the position of the foot. Toes point straight down. Very nice. That's 30 seconds. If you want to call this last round a little bit early, if you're starting to feel fatigued in your support hip, there's nothing wrong with stopping the movement early. Otherwise, one to two more. 
and two, one, and walk it in. We're gonna circle those hips in between sides. So feet about hip width apart, hands on the hips, circle them around. There you go. Hip circles can be done while seated as well. You can sit down when you're seated in the chair. Maybe you're like somewhere that you wish you could go somewhere, but you can't. You kind of sit there and circle the hips side to side. Helps that low back keep some good movement in it. All right, and we're gonna make our way into the final set of hip extensions, this time on that right leg. So as always, pull that midsection in, place those hands, and two, one, here we go. Right leg towards the right elbow. Extending straight back, toe points down towards the floor. Good. Breathe in to glide it in. Exhale to extend. Very nice. Keeping your gaze right between the hands. Continue to lift up out of your left hip. That's 30 seconds. Nothing wrong if you want to cut this exercise a little bit short. Don't see it as cheating. See it as being smart and intelligent for your body. Breathe in, extend, and last one if you're with me, in and back. Fantastic, coming on up. One more time with our broomsticks. Broomsticks, PVC are those nice long TheraBands, whatever works well for you. So we're gonna go similar to last time where you'll take it up either in front of the face or behind the head, chin in, standing tall, sitting tall, whichever is best. And now depending upon how your shoulders are feeling, if they're feeling like they're opening up and you want a little more challenge, bring your hands in closer to the ears. And then just as those hands get more narrow, keep everything else in alignment. So we still wanna keep the front of the ribs down, glutes engaged, and avoiding that, we call that like forward head posture. So chin in, trying to make that like triple chin with your neck. Last one, up and bringing it down. Fantastic. All righty, what does that leave us with? Our march and punch. Standing tall, bringing those arms up. And three, two, one, here we go. We're gonna take a little bit of a rest break after this for some seated stretches. Good. Remember, we're still those marionette puppets pulling ourselves up, keeping our hips level as we come up onto one leg. And hands high, punching up by the shoulders. Good. Woo. Staying strong. 10 more seconds if you're with us. Good. Smile as it gets a little bit harder. And two. One, and rest. All right, give yourself a little round of applause. Grab your water, and let's take a short seat. All right, everybody, hello. Coming into your chair, you wanna, I like to kind of sit on the edge of the chair, have my feet nice and flat so I can sit nice and tall. And we're going to give some love to the upper body here. So we're going to start with our eagle arm stretch. You're going to bring your arms out to the side. You're going to mirror me. You're going to take your left hand on top. Your right hand is going to sweep under. And then best as able, you're going to interlace the hands, kind of tuck the arms down to your body, but still continue to sit tall. And then you're going to push your right hand into your left palm. And then with the elbows, one drives up and one drives down. We're looking to just get a little bit of a stretch in the lateral portion of your left shoulder. Breathe here, just do the best you can. One more breath. And release, very good. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. So now it's gonna be your right hand comes over, your left hand comes under, down and in. Sitting tall, pulling that chin in to lengthen through the neck as well as the rest of the spine. When we kind of pull the chin and then retract the head back, we start to use the muscles in the front of the neck 
And those muscles oftentimes get long from that poor posture. So we wanna pull them in, activate those, and go ahead and release the arms. Shake those out. All right, fantastic. From here, we're gonna, if you're comfortable to do so, you're gonna cross the hands in front of the chest, just underneath the collarbones. And then you're gonna give a gentle downward tissue pull of the collarbones. And then from here, we're gonna to start to look up, lengthening the front of the neck. Very good. And then you'll look straight ahead. We're gonna do that a couple times. So again, just a gentle downward tissue pull, looking up. Feel a light stretch on the front of the neck and then bringing it back down. Very good. We're gonna go this one more time. This time, instead of looking straight up, you're gonna gently turn the head to the side. So you'll start by looking up and then take your chin and turn it over towards your right side. So you're kind of bringing your chin up towards the ceiling on your right side and you should feel it in the front of the neck on your right. And have your eyes, like you're trying to look as far over your right shoulder as you can. When those eyes go in that position, you'll still feel that stretch along the front of the neck. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Bring that head back to neutral. Very good. Same thing other side. So have that gentle downward tissue pull, chin in. I'm gonna look up and then turn the chin over towards my left shoulder and turn the eyes. Like I'm trying to look as far in the direction of that left shoulder as I can. We're going to feel it on the kind of the front lateral portion of your left side of the neck. Nice smooth breathing here and then release and release those hands. Very good. And the last one we're going to do for the neck area, I'm just a little bit closer. We're going to do our side bends. And what I want you to think about, instead of thinking about bringing the shoulder towards the opposite ear, I want you to focus on the shoulder or the ear that you're leaning away from, think about bringing this ear up towards the ceiling. So I sit tall, chin in, and I'm gonna think about lifting the ear up towards the ceiling as I bring it towards the opposite side. So you kind of feel this like in the lateral portion here, lifting the ear up, good, nice and smooth. And you can think about bringing the shoulder down as you lift that ear up. Good, and then back to neutral. So before we look, work the head, shoulder back and down, think about traction this side down, sitting tall, and now the opposite side, ear up, bring it up towards the ceiling. This would be your left side. Very good. Not so much turning the eyes on this one, looking just straight ahead. And just imagine if someone like was like lifting the downside of your left ear up towards the ceiling. There you go. And release. Good, let's do that once more each side. So if I'm gonna bend my head to the left, instead of thinking ear towards the left shoulder, I'm gonna think about lifting my right ear up towards the ceiling. So sitting tall, lift that right ear up towards the ceiling. And you can think about tractioning your right shoulder back and down, even sitting on the palm of your right hand. There you go. Just being gentle here, inviting it to lengthen. And then coming up, pulling that chin in, last time, second side. So if you wanna sit on the palm of that hand, you can traction it down, chin in. And now your left ear, thinking about bringing the left ear up towards the ceiling. Very nice. All right, we're getting ready for some overhead reaching here with a little bit of some hinging of the lower body. So go ahead and release that, fantastic. Before we jump into it, we're just gonna do a little bit more seated twist and side bending. All right, so from the chair, you're gonna sit tall, bring your left hand to the right thigh. If you'd like to cross that right leg over, you can. And then we're gonna do our shoulder rolls with it. So your left hand, to, right hand to the right shoulder, turn your body so you're looking over that arm and now we're gonna rotate through. And you don't have to count these circles here, but we're just focused on trying to feel that shoulder blade move up and down the rib cage, peering the eyes across. And go ahead and release. Same thing, opposite side. Sitting tall, turn the body. If you'd like to cross that left leg over, you can. Right hand, and then left hand to the left shoulder. Turn the eyes, turn the body, breathe. 
and give some love and attention to that shoulder blade on that left side. So just trying to imagine if you could hold that shoulder blade in your hand and just gently shift it up and down along the rib cage as you circle that elbow. You wanna keep that guy moving or gal <laughs> and release. Very good. All right, we're gonna go into a standing side stretch next. If you wanna do it seated, you can. Hand on the hip and arm reaches over. Otherwise, join me back on your feet. We're gonna go one hand on the hip. Let's start with your left hand. You're gonna either reach it out in front of the body or if you're all right to come up to overhead a little bit, we'll come up to overhead, peering at that hand best as able and then down and switch. We're gonna go about three times each side. So your tolerance, holding strong, try to follow the hand with your eyes. Very good. And then down and switch. When you're ready, second time, second or first side. And now that you know that movement, try to key in on your breathing. So breathe in, reach, exhale and release. Good job. Second time, second hand. Up and across, follow that hand with the gaze, hold strong, breathe in, reach, down and release. Very good. On the third time, either stay as you are with the hand on the hip or interlace both hands over the head. You can even take your hand and grab the wrist on your left as you bend towards your right. Good, breathe. And then down and switch again, either with the hand on the hip or grab that opposite wrist and gently pull across. Very good. Breathe and release. All right, everybody, go ahead and shake it out. From here, we're gonna go into our next piece. We're gonna be having some overhead reaching positions and a little bit of hinging work. So you can either deadlift or do a good morning. So let's get some light weights out if you're gonna use them. And before we jump right into that, we're just gonna warm up our low back a little bit more with a toe touch. So toes pointing straight ahead, stand or sit nice and tall, hands on the thighs, chin towards the chest and pull the belly button in as you gently glide down, sliding down, holding strong. And just to your tolerance here, wherever you feel like that's a good enough stretch for you right now, if you can hold it there for just a moment, and breathe into the area you feel tension. Take a nice deep breaths in and out. One more. When you're ready, gradually make your way back up to standing or seated. Oh, all right. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day, Diane. From here, I'm going to start nice and light. And just depending, if it's easy for you to touch your toes, then maybe it's appropriate to come all the way down. Otherwise, come to about mid shin or the level of the knees. So I'm gonna show it with weights in each hand, one on each side of the legs, toes are pointing straight ahead. Set your shoulders back, pull your belly button in. And two, one, here we go. We're just gonna gently bow forward, keeping a little bend in those knees, looking down towards the floor, and then standing tall at the top, shoulders back and down. Very nice, bow forward, looking down, sending those hips back, and then smooth the stand, squeeze the glutes. Fantastic. A few more times, bowing down, keeping those weights right next to your legs, using your shoulders to kind of pin it in, hold it tight. And last one, bowing forward, long spine, tall chest, and rest. Fantastic. Shake out the weights. Shake out the arms if you're holding weights. And now either lighter weights or no weights if you have any kind of issue with your shoulders. You can always do just an overhead reach or what we call like an overhead press. Let me come just a little bit closer. We're gonna be alternating sides. So seated or standing, three, two, one. Here we go, press one up and then the other. So we're trying to alternate here best you can. Yep, nice and smooth, very good. And when you bring it down, try to keep it up by the shoulder, not bringing it down on the chest. So keep it up high. That's better. Yep. Right by the shoulders. Good. Nice overhead reach, everyone. Nice and smooth. Bringing it down. Good. Yep. So that's 30 seconds. If you want to rest there, 
Otherwise, I'm going to take you a full 45 on this version. Back and forth. We're just going two rounds on this today, a little bit longer intervals. Get a nice long warm up and two, one, and rest. All right. Coming back to our feet, we're going to do one more exercise in this circuit. It's going to be our reverse giant step. So if anybody is competent in lunging, you're welcome to lunge, but I'm going to be demoing our giant steps without any weight. So what I recommend, toes pointing straight ahead, standing nice and tall. Pick a side you want to start on. You're going to reach your arms out for a counterbalance. Step that foot back and you're coming up and forward and we're going to alternate legs. Step back, heel stays planted to that front leg and then pull yourself up and forward through that front foot. So I push that front foot down as I stand. Step back and up and through. Good. We're going to go another 20 seconds here. If you're just watching this round, that's totally fine. Learn the movement. Back and up. Good. Step it back and up. Very nice. Chest tall, eyes up. Try to look straight ahead. Finish that rep and rest. All right, everybody, let's grab a drink and we'll go through that once more. All right, we're gonna go in 10 seconds back to that deadlift, or you can do just a forward, we call it like a waiter's bow. You can just bow forward and stand or bow out of your chair. Two, one, here we go. Setting those hips back, pulling the belly button in, gradually lowering down. Very nice. Tall chest, standing as tall as you can up out of the spine. Hips back and smooth, very good. Chin in, peer down towards the floor as you lower, and then looking straight ahead as you stand. Very good, couple more. Hinging over and stand. Awesome, last one if you're still with us, holding strong. Keep pulling that belly button in, squeeze the bum as you stand straight up. Very good, go ahead and shake that out, set it down. I'll come forward once again. You can stay standing or come seated for that alternating overhead press or reach. All righty. Sitting nice and tall, chin in, two, one, and begin. Reach one side up, down, and then the other. Push up, bringing it down, up. Good. Reach. Fantastic. Full extension of the elbow. Think about bringing the weight right over the center of the head. Good. We're over 30 seconds in. Feel free to rest. You know, it just kind of guide your body. If you tend to get some stiffness in your shoulders and you're starting to feel some tension, you can always rest sooner than I do. Last one. And everybody rest. Very good. Reverse giant steps. Come on up. If you feel fairly skilled with these and like to hold some weight, you can hold weight underneath your chin or at your sides. I'm gonna demo without weights. Toes pointing straight ahead and two, one. Here we go, reaching the arms out as you step back. Front heel is planted. I use that leg to pull me up and forward. Backward step and pulling up and forward. Back and up, good. Reach, pull through. Step and up, good work. Just step back as far as you're confident. You don't need to overreach. Good, we're over 30 seconds in, about another 10 seconds left. A lot of times you're just doing things that we don't do every day, kind of keep challenging our body. Back, up, and all done there. All right, fantastic work. Uh, looking for the long bands to finish out here. We're gonna do some seated rows combined with some stretching. So I'm gonna finish out a little bit different than originally planned. Well, let's go ahead and grab a drink of water if you haven't had one since we finished that set. And let's come on over to the chair. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna give some love to our rib cage midsection with some seated rotations. 
So sitting nice and tall, let's take your left hand behind the head, and then you're gonna bring your left elbow to your right thigh or as close as your confidence. And then you're gonna sit tall and gently rotate, peering over that left shoulder. Let's go about five times here. Breathe in to bend down, sit tall and exhale as you turn. You can use your right hand on the inside of your right leg just to give a little gentle overpressure, encourage a little bit more rotation. Last time this side. And go ahead and release. Same thing, other side, hand behind the head. Bring that elbow to the opposite thigh. Sit tall and keep that ability to rotate. Sometimes we don't notice that we lose our ability to turn our torso and our head until we're driving in the car and trying to look out over our shoulders, see into our blind spots. And it's like, oh, that's a little stiff. So we wanna maintain that ability to rotate. Last one. Fantastic, shake that out. Now, if you have the long TheraBands, we're gonna be utilizing those next. So you're gonna take your band and we're gonna put it around one foot, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna be doing our seated row. So we're gonna go both hands together. You're gonna extend your arms out, palms down to the floor. And then when you're ready, we're gonna row in, elbows in, reaching forward. We're gonna go upwards of a full minute here. Squeeze it back and in. Really have a nice long head and neck as you do this. Exhale as you row. Inhale as you reach. Good. That's 30 seconds. Here we're working on that mid-back strength and posture, keeping that nice broad chest, working against those rounded shoulders that we tend to have. Young people, older people, it's kind of rampant in our culture. That's 45 seconds. Feel free to rest anytime you need. Otherwise, Another 10 to go. So as I reach forward, I gently round forward and then I roll my shoulders back. Last one, reach, squeeze and release. Shake that out. All right, from here, instead of those seated rotations, we're gonna try to stretch out the tricep and side body a little bit. So come to the edge of the chair, keep both feet nice and flat and let's take your right hand. You're gonna reach it straight up in the air. We don't wanna sway here. So ribs down, go ahead and bend that elbow. And you're gonna reach around and look to grab that elbow with the best posture you can. Chin in, pulling that elbow as you sit tall. So I'm gonna try to imagine I'm being pulled up towards the sky. And you can either hold this position or if you'd like to add a little side bend to it, you can start to side bend. Breathe in to lengthen and exhale as you take it across. Three to five here. A couple more. Last one. Very good. Go ahead and shake out those arms. Make sure you don't slap your arms against the chair. Just nice and loose. There you go. And then when you're ready, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So we sit as tall as we can. Everything's pulling up towards the ceiling. Your left arm this time, reach it up. Bend at that elbow, pull that chin in. Try to make that triple chin with your head and neck. Pull that elbow back. And then again, your preference, preference. Stay here if this is a challenging posture or gently side bend it out. One of the most common questions I always get as a coach and working with people in the gym is, which muscle is this working? And it's usually a singular muscle. They'll say, which muscle? It's usually almost always muscles, muscle groups. Our body is all interconnected. So nothing ever works in isolation. All right, shake out that side. And we're gonna go back to our banded row. Second set here. If you remember which foot you put it around the first time, try to put it on around the opposite foot this time, if that works for your body. Try to find that even position, sitting nice and tall, palms facing down towards the floor. And then when you're ready, pulling both arms back together, rotating the palms up towards the ceiling. Reach and row, good. Breathe in, 
breathe out. One of those really simple movement patterns. It gives us a lot of benefits. You want to think about those shoulder blades that live in the back of the rib cage. We can't see them, so it's easy to forget about them. But we're trying to bring them together. Like you can imagine the inside border of those shoulder blades trying to touch your spine, reaching it out, squeezing it in. We're over 30 seconds. Actually, this is 40 seconds right now. So if you want to rest early, go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to go another 10 seconds. Breathe it in. Exhale. Beautiful. Breach. And two, one, and release. Fantastic. All right. Coming back to center. Feet flat on the ground. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the arms either up to overhead or at the shoulders. And then sitting nice and tall, you're going to rotate your body. So either at the shoulders or up to overhead, we're rotating, looking over one shoulder and then the opposite side. Let's get about three times each. And it's normal not to feel like you can go very far, but hey, however far you can get, last time each side. All right, from these rotations, we're gonna give some love to the hips. We're gonna go glute stretch next with your right foot planted down. Look to see if you can grab that left leg, lifting it up. If you can hook that foot over the opposite leg, you're gonna hook that foot around and then sitting tall, shoulders down out of the ears and use your arms to hug the leg in, stretching out this lateral hip area. There you go. Another 10 seconds here. Try to release the tension in the shoulders as you hold. And a little bit of an oxymoron there. Hold tight and then relax. Two, one, relax. Very good. And same thing, other side, sitting tall. Hook that foot over best as able and then hug that, your right leg in. So it's like you're trying to pull your right leg across towards the left side of your torso. Looking to feel it in this outer portion of your hip and glute. And I'm using the, your left leg or my right leg. I'm using that leg to pull the other leg around just to kind of guide it across. Chin in, shoulders down. And two, one, and release. All right, shake that out. We're gonna go one more time back to the bands. So pick a leg, any leg. Cross it over. Final minute of banded row, starting in five. Sit tall, reach out, and two, one. Here we go. Pull those elbows back and in and stretching it out. So as I reach forward, I don't want to necessarily drop my whole chest forward. I just want to move through the shoulders. So the shoulders reach forward as I hold steady in the torso. Breathe in to reach. Exhale on that row. Good. First 20 seconds done. Going for upwards of a minute here. Anytime you need to shake it out, just take a rest and then join us again when you're ready. 30 seconds is done. Fantastic. Final 15 seconds, 45 seconds all throughout. Squeeze it back and in, reach and row and two, one and rest there. Fantastic. All right, shake it out. If your water's close by, grab a drink. We're gonna do one final seated stretch for the hips. I'm actually gonna bring you up out of your chairs to finish if you're comfortable with that. Figure four stretch. So left foot, bringing it up and across to that right thigh sitting tall, and then just invite that left knee to kind of lower down, opening up that outer hip. If you'd like, you can use your left hand and gently place it on the left knee. We haven't mentioned it this hour yet, but as always, when we're doing stretches, 
You want to just kind of come to the edge of any level of discomfort. You don't want to be forced in anything. Breathe through it. A couple more breaths. And release. Lower that down and switching sides. Bring it up and across. Inviting your, let's see, I'm on my left, you're on your right. Inviting your right knee to drop down. Sitting tall, if you choose, your right hand lightly places on the right knee. We're gonna hold about 30 seconds here. I invite you to close the eyes if you're comfortable in this position and feel your body breathe. Feel the torso and the ribs lift up and down. Ideally, as you breathe in, you'd like to feel your stomach expand. Try to breathe in, allow your belly to expand, and then on the exhale, feel it drop down. Good, one more breath. And release, fantastic. Gradually make your way out of that. And if you're comfortable to do so, come up to standing. We're gonna do one final standing stretch to open up those hip flexors. All right. And this is one that I really encourage people to do often. You go on a car ride or just when you get up out of the chair after watching some television, you wanna open the hips. So a really simple way to do that, you could do a standing stance where you stagger your feet. So I'm gonna have my left foot, left foot forward. You're gonna step your right foot back and it doesn't have to be a long step back. Ideally far enough so that you can just have your feet flat on the ground and we're gonna be opposite of each other because I said the same thing. And now either up to overhead or if you've done enough overhead for the day, just keep the hands on the shoulders. From here, standing tall, you're gonna just gently shift the hips forward, looking to squeeze the glute of that trail leg. We're inviting the front of this hip to open. So I can slide it back and glide it forward. Back and forward. As I'm pushing the hips forward, that's where I'm trying to find that glute to squeeze. Great, and now as you push the hip forward, you can turn your torso towards your front leg. So towards your left, rock it, rotate away, and rotate towards the left. Both feet firmly planted, couple more there. So just inviting all those different fibers that attach into the muscles that flex that hip forward, we're inviting it to open. When those hip flexors get really stiff and close down, brings tension into that low back because it pulls our low back into extension. Go ahead and walk that back leg forward and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're on the same sides of each other. You're gonna step your left foot back and again, either up to overhead or hands on the shoulders. We're starting not with that rotation, but just the forward and back of the rock. Feet firmly planted, rock the hips back, rock the hips forward trying to squeeze the glutes, find that bum of your left leg, that trail leg. Good, couple more there, rock it back, rock it forward, and then as you're ready, gently add that rotation in, rotating your body towards your right. Trying to still maintain that flex, that squeeze bum of the trail leg. Couple more, squeeze and rotate. Last one squeeze and rotate. Excellent job. All right, let's grab a drink. We're almost at the hour if you need to go by all means. Otherwise, I'm going to come back to seated. I'm going to come into my closer seat here and we'll do those neck stretches one final time. All righty. So sitting nice and tall going to start by bringing the chin down to the chest, trying to lengthen through the back of the neck. So sit nice and tall, just nice and smooth. We're not just dropping that head down, just sequentially looking down. If you'd like to very gently take the fingertips to the top of the head, I give like imagine the pressure if you like set a dime or a nickel on the top of your head. It's that light, just very light. Very good. And then release. And now we're gonna do the version where you're gonna pull the chin in. If you'd like to add a little downward tissue pull here, you can. We're gonna look up. And then you're gonna think about bringing your chin over your right shoulder. So you're gonna kind of turn the chin towards your right side and then turn those eyes. So you're looking over that right shoulder as far as you can. 
I'm gonna breathe a couple times here, keeping those eyes open, lifting the chin, looking to feel the stretch along the side, a little bit of the front of the neck on your right side. And then go ahead and relax, bring the head back to center. And then same idea, other side. So chin in, lengthen. We're gently looking up and then turning the head, bringing your chin towards your left side and turning those eyes, looking as far to your left as you can. Continue to peer, feeling this around the front lateral side of the left side of your neck. Should be mirroring each other here. And when you're ready, go ahead and release back to center. Good. And then now the lateral flexion. Remember, instead of just thinking ear towards the shoulder, we're going to think about lifting the ear up on the side that we're rotating away from. So we're going to bring the, if you're going away from your right, you're going to think about, imagine if I was there and I could lift the bottom of your ear and pull it up towards the ceiling, lifting up as you side bend. So you should feel it kind of the back portion of the neck. Still pull the chin in so you don't go into that forward head posture. There you go. You can look just straight ahead on this one if you'd like. And then chin in, come back to neutral. Same thing, other side. So now imagine my hand on the your left ear, pulling your left ear up towards that ceiling. And think about tractioning your left shoulder back and down. I always forget that shoulder part. Chin in, lifting up. Very good. And last time each way. So chin in, your right ear pulls up towards the ceiling. Gently bringing the crust. Nice smooth breathing. Down and in, last time, second side. Lifting your left ear up towards the ceiling. Traction in your left shoulder back and down. Two, one, and release. All right, everybody, thanks so much for being here today, moving your body. I hope you all feel better than when you started. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy, stay hydrated. Hope to see you next week.